Hi again. I can't believe it's the end of September and obviously the weather is changing, but we've got a glorious day here in South Wales. But it's still now getting to the time where you really need to start protecting some of your tender plants. This was my Senecchio Angel Wings. And as you can see, it has been damaged quite badly by snails. But it won't really matter, I can take all these leaves off. But these were cuttings I did last year and I planted them up this summer. So I'm going to divide this now because there are two plants in there. So I'm just going to take them out of the pot. They're not in a very large pot, you can see it's quite small, um, which keeps them a bit shorter. But as you can see, if I take it out or not, put the pot away. There's quite a lot of roots in the pot. So obviously it's been restricted. And there now, there are two plants that you can see just there. One main one there and one there, and it's sending up little shoots as well. So what I'm going to do is just literally saw through the middle of that, just where the two of them just about join. Rather than trying to tear them apart, I'm just using an ordinary knife with a serrated edge. And hopefully this will just literally cut them both in half. There we are. And as you can see, we've now got two decent plants. So I'll put this one here, and I'll show you what I'm going to do with the next one. I'll just put that one one side, just in there for a moment. And as you can see, there are lots of dead leaves in the middle. So I'm just going to pull all the dead leaves off. So it's obviously just tidying them up. You can also pull off some of these that are damaged by the snails. I won't pull all of them off and then just tidy them up make sure I have a look on that side as well and as you see there are some along there I shall pull that one off and just pull them down and they'll, they'll come off from the side of the plant this one I'm going to put into another pot and I'm going to overwinter this one in the greenhouse so I shall be able to see um, next year how well they do one will be left out and one will be in the greenhouse and I've got a large pot, it's a terracotta pot, put that position down here, it's a terracotta pot, and the reason I'm using terracotta is usually, especially in the winter time, they dry out much more quickly, uh, I'm not going to water this hardly at all, just lightly moist, put some moist, uh, water in it, then just place the plant in there like that, and as you can see it's now a decent sized plant, and what I've done, I've got some extra soil here, and I've mixed perlite, it's all in potting compost, just mix perlite with it which makes it a bit lighter, will it maintain moisture as well. And this is the sort of, yeah, it's just perlite, or this is vermiculite but you can use perlite, and vermiculite is this very, very soft stuff there, and you mix it with the soil and it helps the roots to spread more clearly. Perlite is white and slightly firmer granules to that. So this one now, I've got it in there and I'm just going to fill up the sides with compost and I have already mixed some up here which I'll just put on the sides to just keep it upright for now and then as we go on I shall completely fill this later on but I'm just going to do a little bit here now while I'm doing the video just keep them in there. If you noticed, there's a little shoot there, which I will now use as a cutting. So what I'm going to do is pull it off gently there, and I've got a cutting there. There are one or two more if you want to take a few more. There's another one just there, and I'll just pull it off like that. So I'll finish pulling that up when I finish the video. So I'll put this down one side for now. And what I do with these, because they're just young cuttings, I take off all these old leaves here that have been damaged by the slugs and snails, pull them off the side there. I will wait an hour or two and let that dry off. And then what I will do then is just literally into some compost around the edge of a pot. Same with that one. I'll do them properly later on. And again, I've used a terracotta pot because I don't want them to stay wet through the winter. If they're too wet, they will usually die off or damp off. 
by keeping them on the dry side and only giving them a little misting throughout the winter, they should survive. You should have new cuttings for next year, which you can then grow on to be a larger plant, which you've just seen there. There's one side. And this other, the other plant, again, I should, again, there are lots of little shoot coming there, but I will leave that one because I quite like the thought of having a chunkier plant. Take off again, take off the leaves that are not very good. And usually, depending on where you live and whether you get very cold winters, to, not this particular, the main plant survived the last winter and it, it was fine even up until this, is to go through the whole plant, make sure that there are no slugs or snails hidden underneath because there we are, I've just found a snail just on the edge there and you'll find little bits. And if you can completely clear the pot of slugs and snails, then you can put some Vaseline or something around the rim to literally protect it next year. So I should have done that this year. I'm just going to sort of fill this one up with the compost, like that. And then we've got my plant here. Just shake it push it down put another nice plant there which hopefully will keep growing for a few more weeks and then we'll see how it is surviving through the winter time and again with color in the garden as you can see around me there are quite a lot of plants that are still flowering we've got fever few we also have the begonias here which are the little little ones simpliflorums that have been growing really well Got a few geraniums still out. This is actually a house plant, but it's been out all summer. It's called Anthurium. But look at the colour and the shape of the leaves. I will have to take it in before the frost comes. But we've got another plant here. This is called Nandina, which is this Chinese broom. And it goes this deep, deep burgundy in the next couple of weeks. And it has a rustling sound that you can have. We've also got some Nereens or Nereines, sometimes people call them. These were all grown from little bulbils on the top here. These little dots around there turn into little bulbs. So if you let them ripen, and then as soon as they ripen, put them on some uh, compost on a tray or a pot, leave them for over winter, and you will hopefully see next spring, they'll start to send out little shoots. So these are a few things you can still keep growing all through this, the next couple of weeks. So summer isn't really over and hopefully we'll get some more colour until about October. So thanks for watching.